Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. Last time we started climbing Mount Krennel and uh, we're still on our way up. It'll be a while. But uh, we're slowly but surely making progress. Anyway, we are now able to reach one of these whirlwinds. What happens when we jump into it? Let's see. Ooh, nice. Way to go, Edslow. Let's jump into here. And there we go. And let's see, where do I want to go next? I should probably be killing things. Let's see, I can't go there. I'm trying to remember. Let's try up here. There's something I'm looking for. Alright, here we go. Sorry about that. I was, wasn't sure I could go up there. Anyway, I'm gonna place a bomb right here. And ta da! Another cool little area. More bombing action. Get a kinstone piece on the left, a blue one. One of those creatures. I, don't, I forgot what those things are called, but if they jump on you, they make it so you can't swing your sword. So you shake it off, you get 50 rupees over here. And the coup de gras. A heart piece. Alright. So let's get out of here. Go down here. Ah, kill this guy. And uh, let's go back up this ladder. Seems to be an area where we need to be miniaturized. Oh, I didn't want to do that. That's why I always have to switch over to one of these. Just wasted a bomb. Pretty soon we'll be able to hold more than. Oh, there's a little hole right there. Anyway, pretty soon we'll be able to hold more than just uh, 10 bombs, but uh, not quite yet. So let's see, let's uh, clear off some of this area. Aha! To clear this thing off. And we now have a way to shrink, and I'll just you can skip past that now. All right, let's go around these uh, spiky bush things. Let's see what's down here. Ooh, a little minish house. Hey, buddy. Hmm. Well, luckily we have some of that. And luckily we got some so we don't have to go all the way back down. We got a kinstone piece. So we get a red one. So the different colored ones have uh, different effects when they're used. So anyway... Oh, this place looks like it's going to be dangerous. Yep. Have these uh, buzz flies here. But I can't seem to get without hurting myself, but we do want to kill them. For a good reason. So we have the seed here, and I believe, yes, we can carry it. Man, that thing looks like it might be heavy, but yeah, you want to kill those things so they don't get in your way when you're carrying this bad boy. I want to get it out of this little nook. I'm going to carry it over to this hole and hurt ourselves in the process, but whatever. Alright, so we have it in place. Let's go blow ourselves up again. And we can now use that hot spring water. So. I right, first I thought I missed. I was like, crap, I'm gonna have to go down and get more. Nope. It grew. So now we can go up. Let's, uh,. Put this bad boy again. Let me just check my notes here. 
So now we are officially on Mount Crenel, not just the base, we are on the mountain itself. Oh, I hate these things. Yeah, you remember those things that were under bushes? They're also under rocks. The red choo-choo here. So those are called uh, spiny beetles, that's, that's their name. Let's uh, head to the right first. Kill these tektites. Go the bridge, and there's a conspicuous blank wall. You know what to do. Place a bomb. And what do we have here? Uh oh. Die! Ah! Dang it. Nope. Because you know, when they go down like that, you can't hurt them at all. Anyway, we miss. Get a blue kinstone piece. All right. And uh, let's head further up. Oh, these guys. Yeah. You can't hurt them when they're all spiky, so you have to wait for them to. These are called spiky choo choos. That I know it's a big shock. Alright, oh, we only have two more bombs. Are there more bombs under these? Yes. Sweet, alright. Oh, we were able to get both of them. Alright, let's see, how do I... There we go. There we go, kill that guy. And head out here. Kill this tech tight. Let's do some more floating. So we're slowly but surely making our way up the mountain. And yes, we have to reach the top. Kill these guys. What does this say? Colonel Mines, Colonel Wall. Check here. Alright, so yeah, we want to go up here. Miss. Don't want to waste more bombs. Bam! Two birds with one stone. Kill some more tech tights. And if you want to kill these buzzy beetles, just use your uh, gush jar. Ooh, more bombs. Sweet. And we have another bombable wall. Let's blow this bad boy up. Let's see if there's anything under these. Nope. And oh, we have another business scrub. You know what to do with these guys. Oh, how so? Grip ring. We want this. This is necessary. This will allow us to climb those those walls that look climbable, but we haven't been able to climb. And luckily you don't really have to equip it, it just automatically works now. Alright, and uh, you hiding anything special under these? More bombs. We can always use more bombs. Of course we can only hold 10 right now, but we uh, should be able to hold more at a later date. All right. So uh, we want to do some backtracking now. But like I said, I'm looking at my nose because I want to make sure I get every single little secret. Want to jump down here? Don't you? And. Now we can climb. Alright. Oh, wait a minute. There's actually something I want to do down here. Almost missed that little spot right there. Nope. This. There's a bomb there, of course. There's a lot of secrets around here. We get a fairy fountain and a heart, so now that our bottle is empty, let's see if we can't 
snatch another fairy. And grab this puppy. Only one more, and we get another heart container. Oh. Yeah, we just caught a fairy. <laughs> Alright. I didn't want to watch out for these boulders. Let's go to the right. Ooh. Yeah, for some reason, like, a lot of times they won't even really hit you, they just sort of bounce over you. No bomb throwing. Well, you know what that means. We're gonna throw a bomb. No, we're not gonna throw it, we're just gonna place it. As long as we're just placing it, we're not going against the rules. And... What is this place? Huh. This is interesting. Well, I have an idea. Let's throw a bomb. Uh oh, somebody's not happy about that. Oh, hello there. You're a large fairy person, aren't you? Golden or silver? Well, we could get one of these, I guess, since she has a gold and silver bomb, but uh, let's be honest, because we didn't actually throw anything into the uh, a gold or silver bomb, or just a regular one. Well, thank you. Ooh. A big bomb bag, heck yes. Now we can carry more bombs. And I believe if you are low on hearts, she'll actually refill them for you as well at this point. Anyway. Sweet. Alright, now where do I go from here? So we want to go further up. So let's keep going. Ow. That hurt going up. This place is almost like a dungeon, but it's not really. It's more like a interlude. But now we can hold 30 bombs instead of just 10. That is quite the increase. So we've tripled our holding amount. Uh, we have blue tectites now. These guys are a bit harder than the red ones. But not too hard. We have a mushroom here. You know what to do. Ooh, yeah, oh. It's a bit rainy over here. Alright, so... We can't get across here regular size. There's a miniature size place right there, so... Let's go all mini. And oh, I hate this part. Yeah. And it is almost impossible to go through this whole thing without getting hit a few times. I got really lucky, only got hit once. Alright, so... Let's, uh... Go back to normal size. Now, let's see. This part's a bit tricky. We're gonna have to look here... So we want to push that, so now we don't have to go through that again. Well, we will one more time, but you'll see why. And, uh, we can't seem to get over there. Whatever shall we do? Well, there's another boulder over here. Let's see if we can push that thing in there. But, uh, we want to do it without getting it stuck, because we can't pull, we can only push. So if you get it stuck in the corner, then we'll have to reset the whole thing by shrinking and growing again. It resets the boulder for some reason. Alright, so... Left one... Up two... Left one... Up two... Um... One... Two... Three... Four... Then down... Two, three, four, five, six. 
Alright, so... Now we can get it up there. Push this up here. And we can push that into the hole instead. Just push this thing out of the way. Yeah, they kind of trick you right there, trying to make you think you have to go on the other side and push it in, but nope. Alright. Let's see. Oh, Helmosaurs. Kill this guy. Oh, I should have kept sucking. There we go. Alright, so... How do we do this? Alright, so you can push this one. And can you push this one? You push that one, that one, that one. over here. Did I mess this up? No. Okay. Um, there's this one, this one, there's that one there, this one down, this one down, and this one over. There we go. Easy enough. I thought that would be more complicated. Alright. Suck this bad boy up. Ooh, heart. Gosh dang it, stupid freaking... Ah, spiny beetles, whatever you guys are called. Yeah, give me my heart back. Go up here. Alright, this is a bit tricky because you want to jump across, but there are blocks or bottles in the way. So, you just have to suck... I was gonna say suck them off, but that's that sounds inappropriate. You're supposed to use your gush jar to remove them. I'll put it like that. There we go. Any other way I try to phrase it would just not sound right. Kill this guy. Kill this guy. Is there anything interesting up there? Why are they giving us bombs? Well, the reason for that is... Because there's a switch over there that we can't seem to hit from where we are unless we... Throw a bomb at it. Haha! -ha. Yeah, this game doesn't have very, very many real dungeons, but it makes up for it in long uh, middle segments. Such as uh, Mount climbing Mount Krennel. This is taken a while, but we'll get up there eventually. Oh, son of a gun. Nope. Ah, get away from it. Okay. Let's kill this guy. He's a jerk. Go into here. Oh, another one of these puzzles. Alright. I think I can figure this one out by myself. Push it over there. Yeah, if you mess up and you get it stuck in a corner, all you have to do is just exit and re-enter. Then up. Then left. Then up. And then left. And push this guy out of the way. Ooh, we have a chest over there. Let's kill this thing. Alright, so... Let's push it this, this way. This, this way. And... Alright, that was easy enough. Make it look a little bit more complicated than it was. But it's not. Except for this red choo-choo. And another red blue kinstone piece.
Hooray. Go down here. And we can go mini again, and look at that. Is that what we've been searching for? Let's check it out after we kill these moldozers. We are in Malaria's mine. Finally, we've reached the top and we've gotten to our destination. And I think I will end it off here. So, next time we will talk to Malaria about fixing the Cory Sword. And we will see about getting some more elements. Thank you all for watching and have a good day.